Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum This video, I will explain about demand and supply analysis But um, for this part, okay, part 1 I will focus only on demand Okay, so what is actually demand And what is the um, law of demand And how, uh, what are the factors that determine the, the influence the demand to increase or reduce okay let's proceed the first one definition of demand demand or permintaan defined as ability and willingness to buy specific quantities of goods in a given period of time at a particular price citrus paribus you have to fulfill these two conditions ability and willingness if you are able to buy certain goods, you are able to buy nasi lemak at 5 ringgit, but you are not willing to buy that nasi lemak, okay, 5 ringgit. You mampu nak beli, tapi you tidak, tak nak beli. Not considered in demand. Or, you are willing to buy those car at 500k, but you are not able to buy that car. Also not considered as demand. You have to fulfill mahu dan hendak. Okay, able and willingness to buy specific quantities of goods in a given period of time. Ceteris paribus means holding other factors remain constant. Okay, law of demand. We have a law of demand. The higher the price or uh, expensive, more expensive the price, you will buy lesser the higher the price the lower the quantity demand but if the price of that product is more or cheaper you you will be you will buy more okay the lower the price the higher quantity demand it's logic right you will buy more for the cheaper price and you will buy less for the more expensive price Therefore, the relationship between price and quantity is negative. Negative relationship. Price increase, quantity demand reduce. Price reduce, quantity demand increase. So, different direction means that negative relationship. Okay. Right. And then, next. We have classifications of goods and services. We have free goods, public goods, economic goods. So free goods that no cost, no production cost. For example, air, sun, sunlight, uh, water, river water. Okay, that is free goods. Naturally, uh, uh, yeah, it is a nature. Public good, goods that are for common use and will benefit to everyone. Uh, contohnya taman awam. Um, Jalan raya, okay. Economic is good. Uh, and economic service is the, the uh, economic good, the value of goods that can be seen or touched. Untuk economic service, intangible things. Um, service such as education. Yeah, we cannot have education but we feel that that thing, that service is intangible, cannot be seen or touched. Tapi kalau goods, Mm, such as smartphone, TV, yeah, you can see and you can touch those goods, right? Because of negative relationship between price and quantity, so the demand curve is downward sloping. Here, you will see downward sloping. The uh, the lower the, the lower price, okay? The lower the price, the higher the quantity demand. It is downward sloping, arah bawah. Okay, ke bawah. Okay, this is the demand curve. Alright. Next, individual. What is the difference between individual market demand and, and individual and market demand? For individual, the relationship between quantity of goods and the price by a single individual. Or single buyer, okay. For example, you demand Ali demand for chicken, okay. Chicken at one kilogram, Ali demand 
uh, oh, sorry, uh, one kilogram, 10 ringgit for example. At 10 ringgit, Ali demand for 10 units. Uh, dengan harga 10 ringgit, Ali mampu dan nak beli 10 ekor. Alright. And then, um, untuk Ali sahaja. Okay, single individual. For market demand, the relationship between total quantity of a good demanded by adding all quantities demanded by all consumers. Contoh kalau dalam um, Malaysia ni, ramai sangat yang demand kepada ayam RM10 dan total demand dia Ali maybe um, 10 ekor abu, 30 ekor acong, 100 ekor jamilah 500 ekor and then we total all the buyers would be such as um, demand for chicken for 10 ringgit would be 10,000 units for example ok so kita tengok pada pasaran dia ok ni market demand and then what are the factors that actually um, influence the demand ok this is the determinants of demand there are several determinants uh, antaranya adalah consumer's income Consumers income will increase or will, uh, will shift the demand, increase or reduce in terms of taste and preferences, in terms of festive season, population, advertisement. All those things will affect the, will influence the demand. Okay, first about consumers income. For consumers income, um, income is uh, the, the money that you receive in a month after you work okay so the normal um, as income increase would be the demand for certain product would be increased also or would be reduced okay contohnya normal goods kalau normal goods increase in demand will cause demand to rise okay for example um, technology product leisure service tu barang normal Lagi banyak gaji you, lagi banyak you demand for that product. Ada juga barang for inferior good. Inferior good, contoh barang yang um, you hanya demand barang tu apabila you tak ada gaji. Inferior good. Barang bawahan lah. Okay. Uh, so, an increase in income lead to a decrease in demand. Or a decrease in income lead to an increase in demand. For example, used car low grade price maybe bundle okay all those uh, example are for inferior good hmm, boleh juga kalau saya nak kata untuk student maggi awal semester you dim, you demand less for maggi because you have more money you just got your PTPTN tapi in the end of the semester you don't have money Okay, mat duit you hanya tinggal sedikit untuk ujung semester. Then you prefer Maggi. Could be, okay. Itu berdasarkan pendapat saya je. Alright, that is consumer income. So, consumer income will influence the demand. Second factor is taste and preferences. Okay, taste and preferences also will affect the demand. Will influence demand to increase or reduce. Okay, when the public's desire, emotions or preferences change in favor of a product, so does the demand would change? Contohnya, um, nowadays, trend people for K-pop, for example, K-drama. So, demand for K-drama also increase because trend nowadays is like that. Contohnya sekarang, trend pakai smartphone. Okay. Uh, kalau you tak pakai smartphone, dia salah satu benda yang macam, oh my god, you still guna handphone ni, macam tu lah. Okay, so, everyone has smartphone. Mostly, mostly, majority. So, demand for smartphone will increase. Uh, banyak lagi contoh lain yang mungkin you boleh relate kan. Okay, uh, contoh kalau musim COVID sekarang ni, um, online learning. So, demand for Apps for online learning would be increased. Uh, for example, Google Classroom. The demand for Google Classroom increase. The demand for uh, teleconferencing, for example, Zoom, Skype also increase. 
okay because of the preferences nowadays next okay is a population number of buyers population as the population increase the demand would be increased population is um, jumlah penduduk okay from Malaysia around 32 million 32 plus million okay so as the population increase the demand for goods and services also would be increased the next one festive season and climate festive season such as Hari Raya Chinese New Year uh, will make the uh, demand for baju raya or orange or mercun would be increased climate too ok contoh kalau sekarang musim sekarang adalah musim berpenyakit ya covid jadi demand for face mask demand for hand sanitizer would be increase hmm. selain tu contohnya macam musim cuti sekolah demand for the holiday would be increase hmm. musim buah boleh juga demand for that product also will increase si durian for example and yeah a lot of example you can relate to the festive season and climate okay musim panas ice cream demand for ice cream will be increased demand for air, air conditioner also will be increased during um hot season okay next adalah advertisement advertisement also advertisement actually is a method for firms to create brand awareness to buyer in order to gain their sales of revenue for example um, commercial TV campaign billboard are some of advertisement jadi a successful advertisement will lead to higher demand for goods and services uh, contoh kalau uh, iklan-iklan di TV terlalu banyak iklan tu sampai kan you macam wow alright I have to try this okay means that that is a successful advertisement banyak contoh-contoh iklan yang menyebabkan dia uh, dia sales ataupun dia revenue increase alright next is price of a related product ok price of related product um, biasanya kita bahagi kepada dua complementary and also substitute, substitute. complementary do two products must be used together ok for example um, smartphone and internet right price of uh, smartphone will influence the demand for internet okay kalau harga smartphone dah murah you akan beli smartphone banyak tapi what for smartphone ni kalau tak ada internet jadi demand for internet will increase right you understand ada lagi contoh sebagai lain uh, contoh ni macam minyak petrol, petrol dengan kereta kalau harga kereta dah murah, demand for minyak akan increase hmm, selain tu contoh lain um, I think a lot of example you can relate for complementary the two goods must be used together and then for substitute you can replace the goods ok, for example um, for example apa dia um, ok macam saya bagi tadi Korea tour and Japan tour you cannot go for both with the limited resources jadi you have to substitute lah Korea uh, you nak pergi Korea ke Japan Korea Japan Korea Japan and then you uh, the price of Korea ok the price of Korea kal kal kalau lah price for Korea lebih murah dia akan menyebabkan demand untuk Japan akan berkurang Okay, tu ada contoh substitute. Selain itu, contohnya um, mungkin smartphone, okay? Smartphone, either Oppo dengan Samsung. Okay, sebagai contoh, kalau harga Oppo tu lagi murah, dia akan affect kepada demand Samsung. Kalau Oppo lebih murah, orang akan beli Oppo. Jadi, Samsung tak nak beli. Contohnya, so demand for Samsung akan berkurang. Okay, tu antara contoh yang for the price of related product either complementary ataupun substitute and the last one is expectation of future price okay we just expect the future price that price 
do not increase or decrease yet. Just we expect. Okay, mungkin harga akan naik bulan depan. Akan naik tahun depan sebagai contohnya. So, what will happen to the current demand? Okay. Uh, contoh, gold, gold price would be uh, increased next month. So, what will happen now? You will buy more now. Okay. Because next month, harga dah mahal. You akan beli sekarang. Contoh, minyak. Harga minyak sekarang memang jatuh. Okay. Okay, jatuh. Okay, next month, harga minyak dijangka jatuh lagi. Jadi, current demand akan berkurang. Sebab you tunggu nanti bulan depan. Okay. Nah, sekarang kita tak pakai banyak minyak lah because of PKP. Uh, tapi um, the expectation of future price tu akan influence the current demand. Okay, sama juga dengan benda-benda lain. Housing housing price would be reduced next next year. So current demand for the house will, will be lesser because you aim for next year. Sebab harga next year jatuh. Contohnya. Alright, so that is expectation of future price. There's a lot of example you can use. And in your test or in your quiz, please use your um, your own example. Alright, that is the determinants of demand and then changes in quantity demand and change in demand. Untuk changes in quantity demand, maksudnya kat sini, perubahan dalam quantity tu sendiri disebabkan oleh its price. Okay, perubahan dalam kuantiti uh, demand ayam yang disebabkan oleh harga ayam tu sendiri. Alright, so apa yang berlaku dalam diagram? There is a movement along demand curve there. Oh, okay, can be from point this point to point this point because of reduce in price. Okay, kalau price increase, so this point upward move to this point. Okay. This is a movement along demand curve. Demand curve tidak bergerak ke kiri ke kanan. Point dia. Titik-titik di dalam demand curve ini yang bergerak. Okay. For the price changes and other factors remain constant. Yang ni disebabkan oleh harganya sendiri. Other factors such as consumers, income, price of related goods, expectation future price yang tu remain constant. Okay. Hanyalah disebabkan oleh harganya sendiri. And for upward movement, upward movement contraction because quantity reduce. When the price increase, quantity reduce. Okay, harga mahal kurang berbelanja. Kurang demand. Jadi, titiknya naik ke atas menyebabkan contraction, per, pengurangan, pengucupan dalam quantity. When the price reduce, quantity will increase. So, quantity akan bertambah expansion. And downward movement because of the reducing, uh, the re reduction of the price. Okay, this is the change in quantity demand. Berbeza dengan change in demand. Yang ni demand dia berubah. Kenapa demand berubah? Harga constant. Okay, price remain constant. But other factors yang berubah. For example, consumer's income increase. Advertisement is successful. Um, taste and preferences. Jadi, uh, for example, here, apa yang akan berlaku dalam diagram ni? The shift of the demand curve. This demand curve shift either to the right or to the left. For, uh, if the demand, sorry, if the income increase, the demand will, will be increased. Okay, the demand will increase and uh, the demand curve shift to the right. Okay, demand curve shift to the right from D0 to D1. If the, the income reduce, demand will decrease. So, demand curve will shift to the left. So, from D1 to D0. Here, you will see increase in demand, D0 to D1. And demand uh, decrease in demand, D1 to D0. That is the difference between change in quantity demand and change in demand. Okay, guys. Do you understand for this topic? I hope it will uh, help you to understand for the theory for demand. Next video, I will explain about uh, theory of supply. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye.